Yeah. And I think, so I was very lucky that I had a, I had a OBGYN back when I was having my kids and (laughs) I can't remember if I wrote about this or not, but he had said to me, so I, I went in and my fourth baby was two months old and I went in to take him to his appointment and I said, I need a pregnancy test. And she was like, what? (laughs) And so, and I mean, here I have this newborn in a carrier and she just looked at me like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. (laughs) And so it turns out I was expecting again. So my youngest two kids are a a year and five days apart. And um, so my doctor sat down with me at that point and said, this is what depression is. This is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. If you feel like this, you need to come and talk to me. And I'm very grateful to, to him for doing that because um, it, it really helped me recognize that when I was there. Like, okay, you know, because he, how he explained it was when you're in a bad mood and, you know, you go along your day and you've had a terrible day and you feel down, you feel depressed, you feel empty and kind of numb and angry and then, you know, something happens or you, you go to sleep for the night or whatever. And you wake up the next day and you're, you're back up on top again. You're back to your old self. And you think, oh, I had a bad day yesterday. He's like, if you're down there and sleep or family or good things that are happening are not pulling you back up and you just find yourself kind of stuck on this kind of like a hamster wheel down at the bottom. Mm-hmm. He's like, if you can't shake that, that's when you need to come and see me. Yeah. That's great advice. And I thought that was really, really valuable advice. And, and I didn't feel it at that time. You know, we kind of laughed it off and, and whatever, you know, oh, all these kids and, you know, this and that. Well, it wasn't until, you know, five years later that I found myself in that place. And I thought, you know what? I actually am on this hamster wheel down here that I can't get out of. Like the days are going by and I'm finding myself still here. The weeks are going by and I'm not shaking this off. I'm just a zombie mom that blows up every now and then this is, this can't be right. And so I, that's when I did go finally get an appointment and talk to somebody 